today's game day. I haven't done a day in the life in a while. I've been pretty busy with school and a lot of other things. So YouTube has been a little bit hard for me, but I'm trying. Um, today, I just want to take you guys through my routine, what I do to prepare for match day. So right now I woke up, it's like 6.30 in the morning. This is usually the time I wake up every single day. It's like a routine. And like a routine, I have a morning ritual, which is my apple with a coffee. So I'm just gonna eat this. It's my favorite thing to do every single morning. It keeps me um, awake, it keeps me satiated. So yeah, I'll just eat this and I'll bring you guys to my room. All right guys, so we just finished eating up that apple and drinking my coffee. But today we're playing against, so let me check. Let me just check who we're playing against today. We are playing against a team called Lightning Stars FC in the Boston Bay State Soccer League which is a, you know, an amateur adult league here in the state of Massachusetts, which is a part of the USSASA, something like that. So technically it's a semi-professional league. There's a lot of good competition. So I'm glad to be a part of a league like that with my team, Boston CHFC. Last week we had a game. I forgot which the name of the team we played. It was like El Sama. I, I forgot, I forgot, but we played against a team last week and it didn't go so well. It wasn't the best start to the season. And personally, I feel like there were a few mistakes that I made that could have been easily avoided if I just, um, you know, kind of played quicker. There was just a few things I wanted to improve from my last performance. In fact, I have a journal here and every single time I have like a game or before a game, I would write down, you know, how it went. I'd reflect. And on my last game, I broke down some of the mistakes I made, such as losing the ball maybe a little bit too much because I was too slow on it, not being aware of where I was and... This is also just like a team thing. People weren't in the positions uh, they were supposed to be in our normal formation, which just gave me less options. So that was more of a team thing as well. But in this game, I want to reflect on the mistakes I made from last game and be able to improve from them. I want to learn from the things I did wrong and then be able to work towards them throughout the week so I can, you know, do them better on today's game day. So anyways, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to write a little reflection in the journal. I'm going to write a little check in, you know, kind of like write down what I'm feeling, how I'm feeling with my body, what my goals are for this game. Right. I usually write down my goals before the match. For example, I want uh, 50 per not 50 percent, 80 percent passing completion. Um, I want to play one, two touch around 80 percent of the time. Right. And, you know, at least make one or two key passes. So th those are like goals I usually set for myself that I try to do during the game. Right. That way I can seek improvement. I can seek to challenge myself throughout these games so I can play better. <laughs> All right guys, just finished a little bit of mobility. I like to get a little bit of mobility before my games, before any training sessions, just to get the muscles feeling loose and reduce any tightness. And yeah, I just like to do that in the morning to get everything feeling good, to get the blood flowing. Legs are feeling good right now, feeling ready for the game. It's still very early. It's only 7.30, yeah, 7.45 in the morning. So it's very early and the game isn't until three o'clock today. So I still have a few things to do. Until three o'clock, it's just gonna be getting some extra stuff done, like maybe some work on the business, maybe some schoolwork, and kind of just relaxing until then. So something I also love to do on game days is to watch as much football as possible. I want to watch as many games as I can and just watch the midfielders who play my position and see what they do. I feel like this just helps me prepare. It helps me like visually see what I'm supposed to be doing on the pitch. So right now, Chelsea versus West Bromwich is playing. So yeah, I'm just watching them play watching the midfielders, enjoying the game. So I'm gonna be doing this for a while and maybe getting some work done on Go Grind and that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's nothing too, there's nothing too serious. There's nothing too like amazing that I do for my pre-match routine. It's just get some mobility in, get the blood flowing, feel good, make sure my nutrition is dialed in and watch footy. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Alright 
guys, so I'm just making breakfast right now. Usually every single time I have a match day or I have a lot of training, I always go for some sort of oatmeal in the morning. You know, just getting a ton of quality carbohydrates inside my body and yeah, you're burning tons of calories through sprinting, through changes of direction, through anaerobic activity. Your body, it requires glycogen, it requires the glucose to be able to feed your muscles the fuel they need so they can perform those actions. Many people think carbs are bad for you, so they stay away from pasta, rice, bread, um, carbs, any type of carbs, they stay away from them because they think it's gonna make them fat. This is far, far from the truth. Carbs, especially if you're a footballer or some sort of athlete, you need them in order to perform to the top of your ability because or else you're just going to feel fatigued. All right, so here's the finished product. I threw in some almonds, a banana and a strawberry on top of some chocolate pro meal. Gives it enough protein, lots of good carbs, simple and complex. And yeah, it's just a great breakfast to feel energized. So my sister actually has a scrimmage today and we're gonna go support her, we're gonna go see her play. So it's gonna be from like 11 to one. So you know, it's a good way to kill some time before the game, looking forward to it. Turns out they were giving away free cleats where my sister is scrimmaging and I found these pairs in New Balance that are exactly my size. So if they're giving them away for free, why not take them, right? So, I mean, something came out of this. I guess free cleats is, is amazing, I guess. <laughs> Come on, Nelly. <laughs> We got my parents playing too. <laughs> Way over there. Pass it is dead! Pass it is dead! Oh. <laughs> so how was the scrimmage? Good. So I thought it was gonna be like just a scrimmage between Nelly, but in fact it was everyone played. So even my parents played a little bit, and it was it was really fun. I, I went out there to play a little bit too, you know, just uh, mess around. It was fun. Schooled me. Facts. I schooled her hard. No, but then I schooled you. I schooled you once. All right, yeah. So an hour before the game, just getting a little bit of, you know, quick carbs. We got uh, rice cakes, peanut butter, and banana. Just just to give me a little bit of extra energy because it's, it's been a, a while since breakfast. So. Just want to make sure I have enough energy for the game. So I'm just going to eat this an hour before I have to be at the field. And by then it should be fully digested and I should be good to go. All right, y'all. Just prepping to head out to the game. Our game is at th uh, 3, so I'm about to get there a little early with the team so we can get a solid warm-up. We're playing at home today, so really looking forward to hope hopefully getting that win today. Our team, you know, we've been working on some tactics, we've been working together. Hopefully the results will come with more practice, with more training and more experience together. So yeah, really looking forward to the game and I'll catch you guys at the field. home from the game it was it was not good uh, the first half was very good uh, we didn't concede a goal or two but we played really well as a team we started off really strong our passing was really good our defending was good the goals we let in were purely mistakes and it happens to all the teams but we played we started off really well and then the second half own goal our team died at the end energy was lost and Unfortunately, you know, it just, it happens. These, we need to improve mentally and we just need to get, pick up our heads whenever these things happen and just continue to, to continue to fight. You know, we just got to keep going until the last whistle. No matter how many times we kick off, it's always zero, zero. We always have to continue to fight for that ball. So unfortunately we did lose and it's frustrating, but you know, individually, I felt like I did a lot better. My passing was a lot better. My defending was solid. Uh, Got a few good slide tackles in there. Got a good standing. Got a few good standing tackles in there. Um, I feel like as a midfielder, I did my role. I did what I, what I was asked to do. Maybe I should have been a bit more um, individual. I should have been a bit more, you know, Alex. I guess I can say I, I should have 
dribbled a little bit more, you know, obviously not to the point where I lose the ball or unnecessarily, but I should have just shown a little bit of my own flair because I felt like I was just playing the role and not really playing football. So that is something I feel like I can improve individually. So I tracked my match data with the Stat Sports Apex Athlete Series. It's, um, hold on. <laughs> It's this vest I'm wearing right now. So uh, it tracks all my data. It tracks my high metabolic low distance, my sprint speed, my max distance covered, my max distance per minute, and all that good stuff. So thank you to Stat Sports for sending that out. So anyways, now that the game's over and I'm home, something I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my footy journal and I'm just gonna write down my reflection of the game, how I think I did, how the team did, and what I can improve in my next match so that we can continue to push and continue to try and get higher in the league. But so yeah, I'm just gonna write down a uh, reflection in this journal and get uh, you know just a post ma a post match meal I guess. Tiro mis fiestas juveniles en high school cuando no están como esta movie de ayer pero más más locas. Y fíjate, sabes, you know what's funny? Uno de los jugadores del otro equipo cuando estábamos jugando, verdad, me vino a mí y dijo, hey, eres go brand soccer? Right, guys post workout or post match meal is just a smoothie and an apple because it's pretty late and I want to have dinner so just some quick you know just some quick food quick energy just to help me prepare after the match here's dinner just a huge huge salad full of uh, beans uh, we got tuna in there a bunch of vegetables and just still got a good amount of quality nutrition in there got a good a lot of carbs good proteins good vitamins good nutrients good fats just everything in one big plate, my favorite meal of the day. So just finishing off the day with dinner and yeah, that's pretty much it for the day. I have a Zoom call at eight o'clock with uh, my high school team. I'm planning to play high school alongside my club team. So it's gonna be very, you know, it's gonna be a very taxing season, but I'm gonna be on that. And then after that, probably just do a little bit of stretching and mobility because I have tryouts tomorrow. So yeah, 